this is your 2012 special forecast brought to you by InsightfulAstrology.com. Leo, in 2012, your major theme has to do with you, as usual, but this time it's you and the rest of the world. I'll explain more about that later, but first I want to start with love and relationships. This year, that's not going to be a huge focus for you, believe it or not, because you're moving on to some bigger and broader things, but you still have some energy in the love department. That's because on June 4th, there's a lunar eclipse in your fifth house of romance, and this lunar eclipse will bring to fruition some kind of love happening in your life. If you're with someone and the relationship is not going well, then this lunar eclipse could lead to a break. If you are in a relationship and in love and you feel like you're ready for more of a commitment, this lunar eclipse could be the time when things begin to change between you and your mate. It's also likely that after February 3rd, you're going to wake up once and for all. Neptune has been in your relationship sector for many years. And now that Neptune is finally finished with your seventh house after February 3rd, you are approaching every single relationship in your life with boundaries, with realism, and a good healthy dose of common sense. In work and career, everything is great in the beginning of 2012. That's because you have Jupiter, the planet of abundance and expansion, on your side in your 10th house of professional success until June 11th. I want you to use it well because you're going to have many new opportunities and you should be able to make the most out of them. When it comes to money, things are going to be a little bit dicey. You will have Neptune entering your 8th house of joint finances after February 3rd. And this does suggest that there could be a little bit of bewilderment in a joint financial matter, whether it is a business partnership or an investment. So keep your eyes peeled and have another set of eyes look over things for you. In addition to that, Mars, the planet of action and energy, will be moving retrograde in your second house of earned income as we begin 2012. From January 23rd until April 13th, Mars is backtracking and you're going back to look over how you earn money. There could be some frustration, some setbacks in a money-making opportunity, and you're going to have to patiently wade this energy through. Thankfully, after the 13th of April until July 3rd, you'll see that you're making steady progress. You'll have your, your best energy back to move forward in that direction. Home and family matters are interesting. You do have Saturn entering your fourth house of home and family after October 5th. And that does tell me that you're about to spend a lot of time creating new foundations for you at home and really paying attention to your roots. There might be a new bit of responsibility for you on the home front as well, and you'll have to attain that level of authority in family matters. An eclipse on November 13th in your fourth house will kind of bring a big focus to a family matter for you. Then, we get to the part about you and the rest of the world. Venus, the planet of money, love, harmony, values, will be retrograde from May 15th until June 27th, and Venus will be retrograde in your 11th house. This is the part of the chart that has to do with groups and lots of people and technology, the internet, uh, friendships, all sorts of big humanitarian endeavors, and basically your group consciousness. Venus retrograde in this part of your chart during this time does suggest that you're rehashing things with a friendship or with a group that you're affiliated with. If you have a romantic relationship with someone who was a friend at some point, things might have to be reevaluated during this time. A solar eclipse on May 20th is going to bring this into even greater focus. And then Another eclipse, a lunar eclipse, on November 28th will finalize matters in this whole you and the world at large. Jupiter will enter your 11th house after June 11th, adding to many opportunities that can come your way through friendships, through networking. So remember, your power for 2012, Leo, it doesn't just lie with you. It really does have to do with how you fit in to everyone else.